Chris Lyle, South Carolina Gun School, out here at Train and Learn 24. Standing here with Lewis from TAC Response. Uh, if you don't know TAC Response, this is a place you got to go and train. Um, I kind of, to me, I kind of feel, and I, but I mean, in the industry, everybody knows Jaeger. Yes. Yeah, everybody knows Jaeger. That yes. was, that was just. I think that hit that hit everybody because he's he's touched everybody in some way, shape, form. Even if you, even if you never met the man or in person, he's he's. Uh, I, I feel he's touched everybody in the industry in some way, shape, or form. It was, it was, I know, to me, it felt like a hard loss, and I definitely know, for y'all, it was a hard loss, but they're thriving, they're still there, they're still teaching everything he laid out, mm. these are guys you need to go to. Uh, what kind of got you into it? I know you said James kind of took you under his wing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, born in New York, moved into Connecticut to avoid taxes, when I was thinking about buying a house and was going to get my concealed carry permit, and I'm like, I know it's not as easy as the movies make it look. If I'm gonna have this thing, I wanna be an asset, not a liability. Right. Right. Um, so started doing my research. Like, I research stuff. Like, I dive down rabbit holes, like, all the way to the bottom. And, like, wanted to know where to go. And James' message on YouTube, which you guys can uh, still get. It's James Yeager on the YouTube channel because right. Tactical Response YouTube channel got new. Um, but James Yeager on YouTube. Uh, all his old messages are still up there, um, and we live that stuff every day. Like he lives on in the curriculum. He actually still teaches fighting pistol classes with us. Yep. Um, so when I took fighting pistol years ago, the mindset lecture, which is the most important part of that class, was a video played that was James giving that lecture. Right. So that's been consistent for years, and we're able to continue doing that. So he still gets to touch every one of our students. Um, so that brought me in, uh, or he brought me in, and I signed up for the five-day class, Way of the Pistol. Right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. Way of the Pistol, in five days, I'm going to get everything I ever need. Right, and then I can just oh, go back and content, protect my family. Right, all the, the things that we want to do that <laughs> we continue to do on a regular basis. Yes, I yes. thought I was going to be able to get it in five days. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around lunchtime, day one, I realized that's probably not going to work. <laughs> so reprioritized my life. Um, rented out my house in Connecticut. Like threw all my stuff in a camper. Moved to Tennessee. There you go. We offer a thing called Year of Fighting, which is a set price, and you can take as many classes from us as many times as you want for an entire year, right? 12 months from when you sign up. Yes, yes. So I signed up for that thinking, well, I'll take a class or two and then take a camper, travel the country. I was going to take a year off, you know, and build these skills. And then I realized... That's not how that works either. Um, so I, I dove in the deep end, um, got the hook in me, and James saw some potential there. So uh, kind of taught me the why we teach wax on, like how that ends up helping block the punch, right? Right. Um, so I don't know if that was... So the answer you're looking for, like but like James said, I feel like I've talked enough at this point to call it an answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was perfect, man. That was yeah. perfect. I always like to let, to let people see how they've kind of gotten into being an instructor. You know, because that's what I think a lot of people get the misconception they're a firearms instructor. You were just born a firearms instructor. Nope. No. And no, we've all had, we've all started, and that's what I try to tell people in my classes, is we've all started down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've had to work through the anticipation, the slapping the trigger, and all the stuff you hear us talk about. So we're no different than what you are out there, all right? The, the key is practice. I'm not going to say the difference, but the key is practice and continuing to learn. 
continuing to learn, continuing to learn. Like you said, it's the five day, I'm gonna get it. Oh no, it's the year, I'm gonna get it. And now it's like, I need to do something. I need to do dry fire. You know, that's, that's it's all these little things and it's not, Spending hours and hours and hours, if that's you've got the time to do it, you know, the more work you put in, the better you get. Mm -hmm. You're professional athletes, they're no better than any other athletes. They put in the work, it's putting in the work. Just like I've been t starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, one to get in shape and to be able to provide better options for my students because I felt that was something I could use to help them when we start talking about your really close encounters because. In situations like this, I'm not going to have time to get my gun out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to go with hands and being able to protect the gun. And the guy that coaches me does a great job of correlating things into my world. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's, <laughs> he'll get on me sometimes. He's like, I'm punching you in the face. I'm going to grab your gun. And it's, it's little things like that, like that, that start to make you think, okay, I need more of this. But to get better with that, I got to be on the mat. You know, it's not one thing I can go in there and spend one or two days a week. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be in there at least five days a week. So it's it's just the practice, the practice. But take that practice that you get. Don't just watch the YouTube videos and get out to great people like this right here. Uh, these, to me, I think I kind of call Tack Response the OG. I mean, they, he's been around forever. You know, it's it's a phenomenal, phenomenal school to go to. You've got great instructors, great people, and they're carrying on his legacy. And that's what's so great about it. Like you said, he's still he is still there teaching. Oh yeah, he is still there teaching. And I just can't say enough about Tech Response. I'll be honest, I haven't had a chance to make it up there. But I had a chance to meet Jaeger at Shot Show and talk to him and just interact a little bit and pick his brain a little bit and stuff. So that is my goal now to actually get out there to pack response and actually take his class. So, and that's the other thing. Just because we teach it doesn't mean we stop being students because we're here at Train and Learn. You can't. So, and I know this is your first, this is y'all's first year at Train and Learn. So I got to ask, what do you think? Yeah, this, I mean. Iron sharpens iron, right? Right. Um, and Musashi said, once you see the way, you see the way in all things. And hearing from other people who are sharpening themselves, there's there's little tweaks and things open up in your mind. Like, this has been a fantastic event. I mean, it, if it was only the lectures that we got, if we never came oh, out, man. It, it was worth the trip My for first that. time here, I looked at Katie after the classroom stuff I said I'm ready to go home mm -hmm. I was like I got what I need and then, but then I, it's like we got a whole weekend to go mm -hmm. and so again if you're an instructor or you're in this industry this is the event that you need to be at mm -hmm. all right this is the event to be at so Lewis I appreciate you taking the time tack response get out there and get training and always remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.